Okay, magic of watching gulls in Half Moon Bay. Uh, doing a little digi scoping here of um, Western gull. This is an adult Western gull. It's got a bright banana yellow bill. They keep a white head throughout the winter and it's relatively dark on the upper parts. Not black, but not not standard gull gray. It's darker than that. Black wing tips. And they have a um, small eye, actually kind of a small eye and just a big thick body. And part of the cool bit about being over here is that you can see all sorts of stuff so right next to it is a glaucus wing gull glaucus wing gull is paler and uh, has gray wing tips showing off its wing tips also kind of a small eye and look at the legs the legs tend to have a, almost a purplish color to them big thick body and uh streaking on the head usually the streaking actually has a bit of a barred component to it and then we have all sorts of other stuff in here that little pale thing in there is a rather pale thayer's gull first cycle bird with its little bitty bill and it does have some dark on the uh, primaries um, this is on the pale end, especially this early in the, in the season. The, the gulf locks we have here in Half Moon Bay in winter can be some of the most kind of difficult gull watching there is in maybe anywhere because we have so many hybrids and so many also chances of some really interesting different birds so I'll give you a sense for what you know things look like over here so there's that thing uh oh everybody's flying they're on alert somebody's coming around so here's the great uh, the glaucus wing goal again There's the Thayers. There's that thing. It's kind of dark, but it's even colored on the primaries. It's not as pale as what, uh, you know, what you'd usually sort of see on a glaucus wing. So we're gonna call that a hybrid. That is what we call a Olympic gull, hybrid of a glaucus wing and a western gull. Then we go left, next bird. This is random. Uh-oh, there's something. Now, you might say, oh, hey, there's a western gull, but it actually isn't. It's a little too pale on the upper parts it's got blackish wing tips it's got the banana yellow bill like a western but it has too much streaking on the head and it's too pale so that's another hybrid that's another olympic gull so if i go a little further left i can actually show you a real western gull that's a western gull banana yellow bill bright white head darker upper parts real black wing tips so we go back to the hybrid He's still there there it is and then you get a sense for um, what it's like here these hybrid birds are not rare they're actually very common and we also have another hybrid combo which is the glaucus wing herring gull that shows up every so often well actually commonly but Let's find you something that's normal. There we go, California gull. California gull is smaller, 
has black wing tips, has a medium dark gray upper parts, and uh, their their streaking pattern is a bit like a mullet. It tends to be sort of you know more on the back of the head, and usually the area around the bill and also the front of the neck is pale, and it's mostly in the nape, back of the back of the head where where all the stuff happens. And if you get good nice look at them as adults, they have yellowish or greenish legs, long, slim, slim birds. And here's another thing back there. And you're thinking, oh, what's that? It's too much streaking on the head for a Western, a pure one. And you start wondering, oh, maybe it's just an immature third cycle bird, but I don't see any black on the tail and I'm also seeing that the wingtips aren't quite black the underside of the opposite wing so the underside of the primaries are have a kind of pale tone to them another hybrid okay so this is how common hybrids are here it's a uh, it's a little disconcerting That thing, well, you know, maybe it's a Glockus wing. We'll, we'll leave it as a Glockus wing, youngster, but never know. Could have some hybrid genes. There's another hybrid right there. That one looks more like a Glockus wing, but the wingtips are too dark. Another Puget Sound bird, another Olympic gull. There's a nice Western, normal run-of-the-mill Western, normal run-of-the-mill Glockus wing, another Western, there's a younger Western in the back there, a second cycle, Glockus wing, start seeing what a mess it is here but it's fun too that one's kind of dark and you know these are all hypotheses of what these things are some of them you know look kind of halfway in between so you know they're hybrids others you're not quite so sure here we've got two western gulls an adult and then uh Second cycle, so a two-year-old bird with the brown wings and the gray back. And I was trying to see what that other bird behind it is, is kind of covered up, but not quite getting a good, good look at that one. That's a Glockus wing, uh, first cycle Glockus wing, preening there. That thing in the back looks a little dark, another hybrid. Some Glockus wings. That's something different. Looks like another hybrid. Just too much dark on the wingtip for a glaucous wing. It's too pale on the upper parts for a Western. You can see the different tonal, you know, colors on these birds because we've got a mix of this and that. Western gull, 
Now, how about this guy here? He's actually a herring gull with nice black wing tips and uh, fully, you know, real extensive black on the underwings, yellow eye. The streaking pattern is not so, um, there's no sort of barred or crosswise nature to that streaking. Paler, kind of classic gull gray, slimmer longer wing than the westerns. There's a western behind it for tonal comparison. So, um, herring gull, cool. So in this little sweep, we've seen western gull, herring gull, California gull, Thayer's gull, glaucous wing gull, and hybrids. Just trying to see if there's anything else that might, well, all of it, I guess, is of interest, especially if you don't live around here. Let's see if we can find a young California. Ah, uh, there's the California. That's a second cycle bird right next to an adult. The adult, the adult is the foreground individual, and then the second cycle has sort of brown on the wings. Can you see how most of the streaking is on the nape, not really, and on the face, but not in the front of the of the neck, throat, forehead. That's really a classic California gull look. And here's a first cycle California gull. Again, the structure. Uh, there's smaller, slimmer, longer winged, bicolored bill all the time in the first cycle birds once they're, you know, once the fall kicks in. And uh, then look at the coverts. The coverts often, uh, especially the greater coverts, have dark bases and then a really broad pale area at towards the tip. So they, they look almost like there's horizontal bands on the coverts and then the, the back and scapulars are all met mixed like just really blobby some gray some brown some pale tips some this and that just really all over the place that is also classic um california goes there's people walking by here so maybe everything's gonna fly i don't know glaucus wing gull there western beating his wings it is crazy how much variety there's a california gull front of a western California and do we have a herring in there see if I'm trying to see if I can find a Thayer's gull somewhere that I can switch over to some messy things there's a nice California see if I can find there's another bird here that's kind of interesting see if I can find them well, there's a real dark hybrid so that's dark like a Western that that first cycle bird but it's it's just too evenly dark a Western should be um, have contrastingly blacker primaries than the rest of the bird and that crazy thing over there that is weird looking 
That almost looks like a glaucus wing that has glaucus in it with the whitish primaries with dark tips and the really banded look to it. And behind it is a second cycle glaucus wing with an almost slaty back look to it. And you see, if you look at those adult birds there, there's a variety of, of differences in the primary coloration um, because some of them are not pure. But I was looking for this other bird. Where is it? There's a herring gull. And then from this herring gull, let's see, we go a little further left. There's a, a first cycle herring gull in the back there and a preening. And then this may be the bird I was looking for here. Kind of a brownish speckled thing. Yeah, you see, the other bird moved away from it. You see this pale brownish speckle thing with slightly, it's not real blackish on the primaries. It's big, um, but it's a little slimmer, not, well, if it brings out the bill, it, it might be a little bit more obvious, but this individual here is a different kind of hybrid. At least that's what I hypothesize it as. I, this is a herring glaucus wing hybrid. It's got more of a herring gull look to it in its, um, how it's slim, but it, the primaries are too pale and that way it, re it resembles a, a Thayer's gull, but it just is kind of off for a Thayer's gull if you ask me. It's just too big and bulky. There's even some pale starting to show up on the bill. So I don't like that for Thayer's gull. Maybe I'm conservative on, on that, but I think that's, the other hybrid, which we call Cook Inlet Gull. And uh, let's see what else we can, we can sort out in here. See, there, there might be a, a dark Thayer's. We get Thayer's in, in various different coloration types here. This, you can see this, First cycle bird that's kind of looking away, looking, you can't see his bill. This might be a darker Thayer's. Yeah, if, he, if he looked at, you know, sideways, you might see he's got a little petite bill and a, and a rounded head. Yet he's actually almost as dark as a, as a herring gull, this first cycle. Usually they look a little bit more, um, whatchamacallit, you know, Ah, uh, oh, there he just moved. There, there he goes. And it's a little hard to do this with the phone. You know, I'm trying to look at some of these things with the binoculars and and sort them out and kind of do this live. But yeah, here's oh, big mess of stuff. There are hybrids in there. There's westerns. There's glaucus wings. California gull. Oh my. There's a first cycle herring gull with nice dark based greater coverts and the uh, little speckly, you know, almost checkers on them get broader. Well, they, they, ex they extend more towards the base of the Covered as you get closer to the tertials, so then you you find that they creates almost a, like a dark triangle on the greater coverts. This bird hasn't done much molt yet; it's uh, still pretty f uh, good juvenile. But nice pale base to the bill. That's kind of typical of a lot of herring gulls, but not all of them. California, 
Ooh, that dark thing, what is that? Huh. Yikes. That's a, that's a dark looking hybrid, I think. Second cycle Western Glaucus wing. There's a nice Glaucus wing there preening. You can see it's, here's a little guy with nice pale edges to the primary. So this looks like a Thayer's gull. You can't see his bill yet. And often Thayer's gull greater coverts are really well um, striped. They have a lot of pale on them with nice sort of uh, separated bars on them, like this bird does. And it'd be nice to see his bill. He just already looks small and, and so forth. So I am thinking that's a Thayer's gull. Most of the Thayers we get here on the coast are youngsters, but I haven't seen an adult today yet. Just doing a little uh, scan with my binos, see if I can find anything else that's uh, unusual. So there's that Thayer's, and if I go a little further out here, But if you see that bird in the back there with the bicolored bill, that is, it looks kind of herring like. It's got a you know pale based bill and so forth, but the primaries actually are pa palish. They're not real black, especially for a second cycle. My guess is that's another cook inlet hybrid. And to the right of it, that banana yellow bill bird with a dark mask and relatively dark upper parts, that's a Olympic gull hybrid. So that's Glaucus wing times Western. And then the one in the middle is Glaucus wing times Herring. And to its, to its um, uh, left, I guess, yeah, the bird to the right was the, uh, bird to the left is a uh, California gull. And uh, gives you an idea of what it's like here. There's a lot to look at, a lot to uh, ponder, and lots of hybrids. All right. I've taken too much of your time already. We'll see you later.